Now, before we finish, I'm going to give you a couple of examples from Quran. Let me wipe this off again. The first one is part of um, ayah number 128 of Surah Baqarah. Rabbana Waj'alna Rain Waj al na Muslimaini Rabbana Waj al na Muslimaini Translation has been suggested as our Lord make us both in submission to you actually here it is Laka to you Laka Rabbana Waj'alna Muslimaini Laka to you and uh, that was the prayer of uh, Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam when he was raising walls of Kaaba with his son Prophet Ismail alayhi salam and because there were two two of them so so the word was used muslimaini two of us okay so O oh lord make us both the two of us submission to you rabbana waj'alna muslimaini laka muslimaini so this is dual because there were two dual um another example is um from Surah Hajj and uh, that is part of the ayah, it's a long ayah and the part of the ayah is Huwa Sammakum Huwa Sammakum when we combine, join them then it becomes Dhamma Huwa samma kumul Muslimina Min kablu Wa Fi Haza. Who was some Makumul Muslimina Min Kablu Wafi Haza? He named you Muslims before Min Kablu Wafi Haza and in it or in this. In this means in Quran. So he named you Muslims before and in this Quran as well. So here is Muslimina. He named you means you all, all the Muslims. So that's plural, Muslimina. And here it is Muslimaini. Okay, so this will be Muslimun, Muslimani, Muslimaini, Muslimaini. This will be Muslimuna, Muslimina, Muslimina. So Muslimina has been used here. So We'll finish here and next time, inshallah, we will address the issue of uh, Jama Mukassar. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.